In this problem, we're told that during a workout, football players ran up the stadium stairs in 75 seconds. The stairs are 78 meters long and inclined at an angle of 33 degrees. If a player has a mass of 92 kilograms, estimate his average power output on the way up. Ignore friction and air resistance. So before we go ahead and do this, let's just draw what's going on. So this right here is going to be the stairs, right? So here are our stairs. And so we know that they're going to be inclined at 33 degrees. So 33 degrees. And so we know the stairs are 78 meters long. So this distance right here is going to be 78 meters. And so the football is going to footballer is going to start here and then go all the way up to the top, right? So and then we know they're going to do that in 75 seconds. So T equals 75 seconds. So what we're trying to do here is find power. So let me actually write down the mass first. So we also know the mass of the player is 92 kilograms. So we're trying to find power here. And so the way you can calculate power is by taking the total work done, right? And then divide that by the time it took. And so we do know the time it took, which is 75 seconds. So 75 seconds. And so what we need to do is solve for the work, right? Because if we can get the work, then what we can do is just divide by 75 and then we can get the power. So how do we calculate the work? So the formula for work is force times distance times the cosine of theta. But in this case, cosine of theta is just the way to change based on the direction. But as long as the direction is the, as long as your force is in the same direction as, uh, as the way you're going, then you don't need the cosine of theta. So we just need to find the force in this direction. So how do we do that? So let's draw a free body diagram of our person. So I'm actually going to just draw them right here, but it just makes it easier for me to draw where the forces are. So straight down, we have mg, right? And then at this angle right here, right, we got to find the x and y components of it. So this is going to be mg times the cosine of theta. This is mg times the sine of theta. And hopefully by now you're pretty good at this because on the last, the last chapter you focused on this. So this is mg times the sine of theta, right? So we have this force stopping them due to gravity. And so essentially this is the force here in this case is equal to mg times the sine of theta, right? So mg times the sine of theta times the distance, right? It's because this is the only force going to be acting on them, right, in this direction. And so keep in mind that it, this is like you would label it as negative because it's going to the left. But realize that the force in this direction, the force going uh, this way, right, mg times the sine of theta is not the same exact direction they're going uh, upwards, right? They're going upwards. So you would really, you could plug in the cosine of whatever angle, right? And so it would be 180, but this is minus one, right? Because you would do the cosine of 180 because 180 degrees is from the direction that they're going to the force, right? So 180 degrees, uh, but it's just going to be minus one. And then this would be minus, right? So these would cancel. So that's just the way it would work. But really, you could just take it and then just make it positive. So work equals mg times the sine times the distance. So the mass, which is 92 kilograms times gravity, which is 9.8 times the sine. And then theta in this case is just the angle of the incline. So 33 degrees and then multiply that by the distance. So the distance they're traveling is 78 meters. So plug that right here. So 92 times 9.8 times the sine of 33 times 78. So if you go ahead and do this power, right, is going to be equal to the work, which is this. 92 times 9.8 times the sine of 33 and then multiply that by 78 and then go ahead and divide that right power equals work which we just calculated over time which is 75 right so if you go ahead and do this 92 times 9.8 times the sine of 33 times 78 divided by 75 you're going to get that it equals 510 and when you measure power when you're using work right this would be measured in joules and then divide it by seconds, it's measured in watts. So this is going to be 510 watts. That's going to be the power, right? So that's going to be the answer to this problem. So 510 watts is your answer. And so yeah, hopefully you found this video useful.